Well, folks, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited right now. It's a beautiful sunny morning, but not too hot. Lou's on his way out here, and we are going to raise the first section of my building. Got all the winches and hardware up on the top of the posts. Everything's hooked up. All we got to do is push the remotes, and it'll go up. And it's been a lot of work getting here, and, and a long time. It's a big building. It's more work than I ever realized but this will be very encouraging to get this up i'm gonna set up the gopro and that camera i got mcfly with me i'm gonna go ahead and stick him up in there and uh get you a downward view and we'll get this raised today very excited praise god thank you this is this is a life changer right here folks been a long time coming i'll be back well, the foreman's here. Got to let him get his lunch in him before we get started. But I thought I'd share this with you. I think it's kind of cool. So Lou is going to lift half of that building. <laughs> He's going to use this to do it. Those are remote want, controls. I need the other one. Oh, you want four, five, six? Mm -hmm. Okay. The ground over here is more level than over there. Oh, this is. Oh, that's right. That's one, two, three over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So Lou will be using this one. And uh, he's going to lift that side of the building, and then I'm going to use this one to go over and lift that side of the building. And you really need to make you one of these handy-dandy two-guys-lift-a-roof <laughs> kits. It's, you got to get a bunch of stuff. You have to get your winches and your caps for the steel caps for the tops of the posts that the winches bolt to. And you got to get... Your batteries, those are lawn tractor batteries, about six of them, made sure they were all identical and of the same manufacture date. And then on the bottom, you gotta get yourself a snatch block and a turnbuckle. I think that's called it, whatever it is. One of them things right there. Lou, what's that called? What? The horseshoe shaped thing that uh, you put the bolt through and it holds the straps on. I don't know. Got to get yourself six of those and some lifting straps. Well, I learned something new. One thing I need to add to your winching system for lifting your trusses is that you can't just have the strap wrapped around the two trusses. You have to put blocks in between the strap on top of the top cord of the truss and underneath the bottom cord of the truss. That way the strap is not pulling in and pinching the two trusses to the post. See, if it's pulling against the trusses, it's, it, it pinches the post. But with the blocks there, all it does is lift. Hope that makes sense. It lifts a lot easier without the trusses being pinched together. Easy peasy. On the ends, you don't have to worry about it because there's only one truss on the gable end. So pulling up on it is not going to cause it to pinch the column. All right, I'll go uh, put blocks on the two bays on the other side number two and number three like that and it also takes up a lot of slack so I don't have as much space on the top between the winch and the top of the top cord of the truss I'll get the other side done we'll get Lou over here hand him his block and let him raise this side I'll be back Okay. Okay, A1 was 152. Well, that's half. 
on the work mate? Yeah. No, I want them over there. Alright. Yeah. Alright. So when we're ready to go. Alright son, get over there. Let's get going. See how good we are. <laughs> Let me finish turning these on. Okay. They only stay on for a couple minutes, Lou. I know. You ready?
Make the bottom block, put it up. Okay. We're gonna hopscotch the blocks. I, I, yeah, okay, I got you. Hey! Hey, Lou! How you doing over there? <laughs> After you get the blocks on, we're going to take a break. Okay. Well, might as well show people how to do this. Yeah, this one here isn't going to be anywhere near as... We're not the only people that are going to have twisted posts. So the problem we ran into is this post is really twisted. We've got a couple of them that are. Um, but I understand that's pretty common. And what you have to do is see how this is starting to twist here. So it's spreading the trusses apart. So we have to cut part of this off and part of this off to make it straight. And the way you can make up for that when you get to the top is by putting, sandwiching a board in between them. But it's just, you gotta do what you gotta do to get her done. I'll be back. All right, so Lou's gonna explain how we're gonna fix this twisted post. Okay, what we have as we're going up is we have this column. The column is rotated this way as we're going up. So what we need to do is we need to cut this three quarters of an inch in and straight down to here, okay? But we only need to cut the thickness of a blade, which is about two and a half inches. And that'll get rid of most of that. And then we can go ahead and, and, and continue that up. And do we cut the other side? No. The opposite way? No. Just the one side? We, I think we can do it with just, because this side here is flush, the other side's pulling away. Okay. So that's telling me that that's where the, where the, the, the twist is. Okay. Okay. All right. You so, like your little command central buttons there, don't you? So what? Your little command central buttons there. Yeah. These, this is what you, we use to <laughs> raise this up. Yeah. Both are up on top. Lou, Lou raised that whole side of the building all by himself. Yeah. <laughs> With one pinky. Yeah. <laughs> one finger. <laughs> all right. We'll be back when we get this twisted post straightened out. Okay. We didn't set it yet, remember? We didn't put it on the post. Okay. And I need to use your blue square, right? No, just use that and, use, and put that up against the, uh, the blade. The bottom of the blade. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Trust me, I don't want to get hurt any. <laughs> Remember who loves you the most. Yeah. Annabella. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Sure, maybe there's a dog now. <laughs> I guess my dog days are here. Okay. Yeah. 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 I guess my dog days are here. <laughs> Annabella, come on, baby. Get out of there.
looking pretty slick, huh, Dad? Yeah, it is. Huh? Yeah, it is. A little creaking on this one here, but I think we're past the... Yeah, I think we're... Past the rushing hole. We're in a good spot. Looks, looks like it. It'll have to come back in, but I get to clean up for the, for the column anyway, so yeah. it's still stuck in. twice the support. Do you think it's a safety thing? Take it. This makes me feel better. Alright. Makes sense. Oh yeah, you did it here too. Yeah.
Which one? Uh, three. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Moving up. Yep. <laughs> Got it going. Okay. Mm -hmm. Classic truck rescue. Two. No. <laughs> you gotta say peace out. Peace out. No, hold on. So I'll go classic truck rescue, and then I'll go like this, and you use this hand, and we go peace out. Okay. Classic truck rescue. Peace, peace out. out. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> The roof is <laughs> tired. That's a okay. lot of work. Good job.